we're starting again. Um, just we are very we're very fortunate this afternoon, this morning. Before I get to them, just to note, I, I just want to say a word of thanks to our sponsors. Um, believe it or not, these events are very hard to pull together, and I know you look at your charge as a is a big amount, but usually you scrape by and you actually fall behind. Without the sponsors, we wouldn't really be able to do these kind of events. So you'll see them. They seem to have two nice cars out there, none of which I can afford, but they are beautiful. But uh, there's, our sponsors are up. They're hanging around. Just say hello to them. Let them know that we're here. They are important for keeping these events alive. Anyway, now here we have two very distinguished guests in the next round. Um, Mr. David Hartnett. You were Mr. or not a sir? I don't know if you were a sir. <laughs> oh, Dave. Okay, Dave rather than David. Okay, that's fair enough. And Mervyn King is with us, professor. Um, first, David Hartnett, he's been around a long time. He's internationally known. Um, but his main fame to, is uh, being the head of HMRC. It's secretary opposition. Um, what's the exact title? Permanent secretary. That's always a nice British title. You guys really do good titles. Yeah, still, you throw those around, and now you are in the real world again. So you probably have a completely different perspective, and you've been practicing for a very long time. But you've really been through the whole ring of things. You've probably gone through several cycles. Something tells me I remember the 1970s. I kind of feel like we're going through the same thing again. So anyway, I let you, you begin, and I'll get out of your way. Good morning, everybody. I'm delighted to be back in Africa talking about a tax issue, and particularly to be in South Africa. But before I go, on, before I go any further, I want to just offer you all a unique business opportunity that I spotted in Southampton yesterday. But the story starts six or seven years ago in Boston, in the United States, when I arrived to speak in the Conference of Tax Commissioners but somehow my luggage stayed in New York on a carousel. And uh, the tax community of commissioners closed in around me. The organizer of the event lent me his spare trousers, which were about 10, even though I'm large, about 10 sizes larger than me. A Canadian tax commissioner lent me, this was very brave, lent me the blazer he bought that afternoon and someone else lent me a tie. I looked weird. And I went off to a dinner at the Harvard Faculty Club with the American Tax Commissioner whispering in my ear, Dave, it's going to be all right. They're all really strange there. Do you know, it was very all right. They all looked like me. The Tax Commissioners and their assistants and deputies look very out of place. So what's the relevance to the business opportunity I'm offering you? Really simple. I arrived in Johannesburg yesterday, having travelled overnight. My suitcase had stayed in London for British Airways. Along with the suitcases of 50 other people. Now, I, I need to scold you. Where was the tax community at 11 o'clock yesterday morning when I needed clothes. Where were you? So, wearily, I set off shopping. It was easy to buy a shirt and a tie and shoes and things we don't mention in tax conferences. A young man who was very eager to sell me a particular deodorant was delighted when I bought it. I wonder why. What couldn't I buy, and here's the business opportunity, guys, what couldn't I buy was a suit. Santon has got a gap in its market, despite all the wonderful shops. I could not get...